Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be showing how you can scrape infinite leads from Apollo. This is the same method that we've used to scrape hundreds of thousands of leads for dozens upon dozens of clients from several different industries. So I can say with confidence that as long as you're not scraping literally millions of leads, you're going to be able to use this exact method to bypass those crazy Apollo prices and get your leads for something that's actually reasonable. Okay. Now with that being said, I'm just going to get right into it. I don't want time. So this all starts on a website called Appify. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar what Appify is, Appify is a software which is online that allows you to host scrapers, right? Now, scrapers in general are just a term in like, I guess the programming world, uh, which allow you to extract data from some source, right? Now, what these guys do, which is really nice, is they don't only host it for you, but they also allow people who are developers to sell their scrapers on here. And what ends up happening is there's a bunch of people trying to make money off the platform. So they end up coming on here, building really, really quality scrapers and then selling them for 30, 40 bucks a month. Now, as you guys can guess, right, Apollo is one of those scrapers and I'm going to be showing you how you can use that scraper in this video. Okay. Now I'm going to have all of these links in the description. So if you want to just follow along, then go ahead. Now, when you do get into Apollo, I'm going to leave the direct link for the scraper in the description, but I'm going to show you how you can find it without the link. All you got to do is just come into here, go to stores and just search for Apollo. Okay. Now the one that we use in the agency is this one right here is by curious coder, Apollo IO scraper. There's currently 4.2 K users. It's $45 a month, but that will get you to the point where you can scrape as many leads as you want. And I mean, if you guys have seen the Apollo prices, right? Like it makes, it makes a lot of sense financially. Okay. Now how this works is you pay for Appify and you also pay for the actual Apollo scraper. Now both Appify and the Apollo scraper have trials. So if you really are on a budget and you can't, you know, sort of pay for it, you can always just keep abusing the trials if you want to, but you know, that is an option. We personally, like we have our own tools at this point, right? In our agency, we scrape such large quantities of leads that we don't use stuff like this anymore. But when we were a smaller agency and we were working with less clients, that's, this is something along the lines of something we were using. Okay. Now, when you get to this point, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to give it a couple of inputs. This is the information that it's going to be working with. That includes your cookies. And I'm going to touch on that later, your search URL, and you're going to have to give it a couple of parameters and a couple of things just for it to work properly. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to show you guys the best settings that you could be using. So just stick around. I'm going to show you real quick. So first and foremost, you're going to have to give this tool a way to actually use your Apollo account right now. There's two methods. There's cookies. And then there's also the username and password approach. Now I'm going to give everybody a really, really, really big recommendation that a lot of people don't know about. Use only the cookies option. Do not use the username and password option because that option will get you banned. Okay. And I repeat, it will get you banned. We've tested this before only use the cookies. Now I'm going to show you guys a way on how you, how to get any cookies for any software, but especially Apollo in this video right now, all you got to do is just search up, edit this cookie, right? It's a Chrome extension. It's free. Everybody can use it. It has 3 million users Add it to your Chrome just like that. And I'm sure there's like a Firefox equivalent, but I mean, listen, everybody uses Chrome basically. So <laughs> it shouldn't be a problem. Um, once you have the extension installed, just go to Apollo, make sure that whatever account you have has a trial on or the premium subscription, whatever you want to do. Apollo is super generous with their trials. So I would just use a trial, right? 13 days left. One trial account will get you about 10,000 leads. So just so you know, like that's how much like Apollo allows you to do on a trial and you can just keep making these, keep making these. And you know, that's it. Like, so you basically have infinite leads. It's a little bit of a hassle, but it's a lot better than paying thousands of dollars to Apollo. Okay. Refresh your page, click on the cookie scraper. And there's this button right here, this square, click that square and it's going to copy your cookies to your library. Then all you're going to want to do is come into here delete what's already there and just paste this. And once you do paste that, you now have your cookie pasted in there. This is the value. This, this data is what's going to allow this scraper to use your Apollo account, right? It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like your login, but from a little bit more of a technical perspective. Okay. Now you're going to put in the search URL. Now this is this, what you actually want the tool to go and scrape. Now, for those of you who've used Apollo already, you guys know that what you actually put in the URL, or what you put in the filters goes in the URL. So we're going to build a super simple query real quick. We're just going to do like Google 
we're going to go in here, job titles. Let's just say we want only the owners. And let's say we want to just scrape this just straight up. And you know what we'll do? We'll also put the, uh, where is it? Email status verified. So we got 44 people who are marked as an owner at Google. And from these people, you know, 44 of them have verified email addresses. Now this URL right here, if I open up a new tab and I paste it, as you guys can see, it already has these tags here because those tags end up going in the URL. So all you got to do is copy this URL, go back to this tool, paste that in, obviously get emails because you want, you know, get the emails of the people, wait for email verification. Sometimes Apollo takes a little bit of time to enact, like actually return the email address. So I would turn that on just because, you know, you kind of, you need your emails. Then total number of records required. This is the amount of records you want to scrape. So if you just want to scrape everything, then just put this to nothing and then it'll scrape everything. Now, one thing I will mention, and I'll show you guys this real quick. Uh, if you come here and I'm, I'm going to sort of broaden the search up a little bit, Apollo only allows you to go up to the hundredth page, meaning past page 100, meaning when you get past 2,500 leads, you can't go any further in Apollo. Now, because of that fact, you're going to want to do one of the either make smaller lists or segment your lists further. So let's hypothetically say that I wanted to scrape all of the employees at Google that have verified email addresses, but I had to use this tool. What I would do is I would start segmenting based on one of these factors. And I would go and try to figure out a way to get a bunch of lists that are either 2,500 or less instead of this one big lists. And just some ideas. I mean, you can come in here. You can go to job titles, for example, management level, and you know, you could scrape this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, and then, you know, the other ones kind of have like a lot of leads in them, but you'd have to kind of figure it out, right? I mean, I'll be honest as this isn't a perfect solution. It is a little bit of a workaround, but if you don't want to spend money and this is, you want to be scraping a lot of leads without paying 10, tens of thousands of dollars, this is kind of one of the best options. Okay. But anyways, for the sake of the example, you know, we'll just go back to the point where we had only, uh, 44 leads and we'll go from there. Now we have those 44 leads. We're going to come back here. Uh, maximum wait duration. We're not going to touch that. Or actually we are going to touch that. We're going to put this from 75 to 90, right? And honestly, you could even put this up a little bit more just to like not risk your accounts being banned, especially if you're not in like a particular rush, right? Like you guys can wait a couple of hours to get your lead scraped, right? I would just kind of play this safe, just, you know, not to risk it. I would put this from, from a hundred seconds to 120 seconds. And basically what that is, is uh, it's saying that wait between 100 to 120 seconds before scraping each 25 leads, right? Or each portion of 25 leads. So you put that, then you come in here, proxy, you got to use a proxy or you'll definitely get banned. And the best thing about Appify is that all of this is built in. You don't have to put your own proxy in. So in order to do that, just come to residential, put United States for the residential, um, click save, and then go to run options. And here where it says timeout, do no timeout. And this will basically make it so it'll go and it'll scrape for as long as necessary in order to get all of the results. And once you put all these settings on, then you can save, click start. It's going to ask you if you want to start your, you know, Apollo.io lead scraper trial. You click understood, then click start. And now it's going to start running this program in the cloud. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to do anything. All of this is being done for you in the cloud. And you guys are going to see when this actually starts running that we're going to have an actual like console that you can look at through this, through the software, right? I'm going to refresh real quick. Yeah. So it runs, right? And as you can see right here, I think it just started. We can go to log and boom log, right? So you can see that these, this Apollo scraper is actually working in real time right now, right? Boom. Queuing 25 people for finding emails. And then you come here output. And you can see the first 25, it says zero, but let me, let me refresh the first 25 people. And as you can see, San Francisco, Seattle, this is where those people work. And then if you scroll to the right, United States, India, United States, United Kingdom, right? And then if you keep scrolling, you'll see their email addresses, right? And these are actual email addresses from Apollo, right? And then when you want to export this, you'll just click export 25 results. You'll put in the fields that you want to scrape. So let's say we do CSV. Let's say we want first name or name. It's odd. Why is not detecting it? Name. Very weird why it's doing that. It usually detects, let's say email, for example, export. 
That is so odd why it's doing that. Okay, well, typically when you come in here and you try to export, it's going to give you options for the different fields. Maybe because it hasn't gone for enough time, maybe that's why. But, you know, basically when you come in here on a normal situation and you type in something like name, it'll allow you to select certain records. But even then, like, you don't need to do that. You could just click download right away and it'll give you all the records. And then if you open this up, you'll see that this CSV file will have all of the records. So you could see what I just showed you on the website, but actually in a CSV file. But this obviously comes with a lot of useless data. And then you can just choose whatever you want and get only that in your CSV file. And this comes with everything, right? All of the data possible that you can get from Apollo. So that's pretty much how you use the tool. I'm not going to sit here and like show you guys that it's working for a while because there are pretty hefty delays. But that is how this works. Just so you guys understand, you know, last time, each account is only going to get you around 2,500 leads. So every 2,500 leads, you are going to have to go make an account. To start a trial on Apollo, you don't need to have a credit card. You don't need to put anything in, right? It's super simple. So you can go do that, you know, keep making trial accounts and just go from there. And using this method, you can scrape infinite leads, right? It's a little bit of a hassle, but it is what it is. So that's about it. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, this is a quick one, um, then please like and subscribe. This is a very small channel, so I notice every single person. Uh, if potentially you guys are interested in working with us on a lead generation effort, uh, we, can we can set up a call in the description. That'll be the first link. You can work with my agency, Borks. We are a complete paper qualified call agency, meaning you don't pay us a dime unless we get your results. So if that sounds like something you want to try out, go check it out in the description. We'll do a setup free consultation call. Um, if we think that we're a good fit, we'll make you an offer. If not, you just get a bunch of free advice. But anyways, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.